but Ooh, right now we are here with Sanjay, who is our digital man. He has designed all of our cartoons and um, digital screen images, which we greatly appreciate. Sanjay, yes. what's up? Aside from your cartoons, we have to ask you: Do you love the Sox or do you love the Cubs? Um, this season, it's been more of a I've been more of a Sox fan. All right, uh, I That's love my man. Uh, I love Carlos Quinton, and uh, they have a great team this year, and uh, they should be going somewhere this year. Totally. Right. Well, Sanjay, you're a good friend, and uh, you did our website, our cartoon. I can't say I'm not a little disappointed to find out that he's not a Cubs fan, but I'm going to roll with it. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. Sanjay, do you think art collectors are better, more well-rounded people, and why or why not? Uh, yes. I mean, I think their creativity really drives them, and, uh, and, and they're able to relax and show their aggression on, uh, in their art, really. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Johnny Washington. This gentleman was one of the stars of the Negro League in baseball. We're so concerned with Cubs or Sox and why. And here's a man that was involved in some of the, the major foreground that was necessary to get to this point so we could have such an a integrated uh, baseball league and both teams, uh, uh, there's black people, there's white people, Asians, uh, Latino people, and everybody all gets together because uh, Mr. Washington here kind of broke the ground. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Washington. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I go back uh, from 1948 to the Negro League. I played semi-pro baseball out of high school when summer came in, you know. And then uh, uh, when I graduated from Morgan Park High School, out far out south in, in Beverly Hills, and uh, Played semi-pro baseball there for two years, and, and when I got turned uh, 18, one of the former Negro League ball players saw me saw me pitching. I was a left-hand pitcher, and I was throwing hard. And, and guys were were intimidated because I, I was throwing in the 90s, you know. <clears throat> and uh, so they the, the guy was told me, "Why don't you try out for the Negro League?" I said, "No, I can't play there. I've seen them guys play. I, you know, they're too good." So he. He said, well, let's try it anyway. If you don't make it, you come back. So we have to ask you, being yeah. in Chicago, are you a Cubs fan or a Sox fan? You what? I'm sorry. A Cubs fan or a Sox fan? Cubs, what's that? Are you, a, are you a Cubs fan or a Sox fan? I'm an American League fan. I like both teams. I'm, I'm a Chicago fan, really. Okay. I, I and if you're not sure, American League is the Sox. Well, well, when the Sox and the Cubs play, I'm an American League fan. I'll right. I, I go for the White Sox. We'll take that. I've, I've seen the Cubs, the history of the Cubs. I <laughs> but uh, Ouch. I, I love them. That's Chicago. We, we, right. uh, the Cubs win, we, we, we get the benefit of the World Series here. Same thing with the White Sox. So That's awesome. Well, let me ask you this question, and this it might be a little off topic for you. Have you ever collected anyone's artwork? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, uh, one one ball player. You, you speaking of ball players? You know, art, well, artwork, it could be by a ball player. Um, yeah. uh, I'm friendly with Jenny Scott Washington, who kind of inspired me to do this TV show. And I know she's an artist. Oh, yeah. And so have you ever collected any of her art or anyone else's artwork? Yeah, she did a, she did a uh, 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 piece of work that, uh, uh, of me in the uniform. God, it was about this this big. And that wide, and you know, it was. It, uh, I hang it on the wall, and it's, it's almost on the wall, on the floor too. You see. Well, that definitely so qualifies as art. Beautiful. I get, I get, I get all comments on it. It look, it looks identical to me. And she only had ten minutes with me to to get the face, you know, to get it uh, where it looked. As it were. As it were. Well, all thank right. you so much well, for well, coming. Like, uh, uh, Jackie Robinson, which I played with Jackie Robinson All Stars. Really? The Negro League, well and, uh, and and then my my idol from childhood on up was a guy I call him God, you know, but he's Ted Williams, <laughs> and he was he was he was everything to me. Well, that's fantastic, and just so you know, we're gonna have a guest on here in a minute who lived next door to Ted Williams. Oh yeah. Uh, after you know. After he was done playing and everything, so now there's a big Ted Williams thing, and of course Ted Williams, uh, Red Sox, and I was born in Boston, and uh, so I'm kind of a Red Sox American League, Cubs National League, and so let me just say, you have brought me a gift here. Yeah, uh, uh, 
I have the, the baseball assigned to baseball and, and with the teams that I played on it and a, 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 a baseball card that we, we sell at the, 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 at the uh, baseball shows in, in uh, Rosemount Convention Center and stuff. All right. And here's the baseball, the Major League Baseball. Sir, thank you so much. I just am so honored and pleased, and thank you very much, and uh, well done, well done, well done. We'll see you in a minute. Come on out to the Howard Finster Vision House in northwest Georgia. We're an hour and a half north of Atlanta, 45 miles south of Chattanooga, 644 miles away from the David Lee and Artist Gallery, 706-857-2926, HowardFinsterVisionHouseMuseum.com. I've got 200 pieces of art in my old friend's house where he had a vision from God to paint sacred art. It's a super cool museum. Support your own. Come on out, and we'll see you in Northwest Georgia. If you're watching Chit Chat with David Lee and Artis, you already know my show is super cool. The only thing that could make my show even cooler is if you had a commercial on it. I can help you out with that. Give us a call, 312-863-9045. You can check us out at chitchatshow.com, but you already know how cool this TV show is, and we can make your business look great. Super affordable, 500,000 people are gonna be able to get your TV show. I'm gonna promote you all day long. You'll be my new best friend. You need a commercial from David Leonardis Productions here on Chit Chat with David Leonardis. I'll see you on my TV show. We are here with my very good friend Veronica England, and um, I think I know a lot about rock and roll, but Veronica England knows more about rock and roll than just about anybody that I know. Thank you so much for being here, Veronica. Hi. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, my pleasure. Now, Veronica, um, well, normally we ask people, Cubs or Sox, why? Do you have an answer? Uh, no, uh, I, I'm not really into sports. Okay, and um, fair enough, because that's her answer. Now, let me ask you this. Did you live next door to Ted Williams, one of the greatest baseball players ever in the history of the world? And what was your perception of him? And was he cool or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did live next door to him. Um, he was awesome. He was really nice. Uh, he used to come over a lot. Uh, we, we used to go over to his place a lot for breakfast, and he used to always tell me that my dad is a hell of a guy, and uh, he, he, was, he really, he, he was a very friendly guy. He, he yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome. Your father, uh, Dr. England, that's so fantastic. And then now, um, let me ask you another important question. Do you think art collectors are better, more well-rounded people, and why or why not? Um, I don't really know because I'm too poor to collect art, so I can't really uh, pass judgment on people who collect art or not. Um, you know, I don't think they aren't well-rounded people if they don't collect art, maybe just because they can't afford it, but uh, people who do, you know, uh, I guess they are. I I can't really answer now that. I'm just going to grill you like, for two more seconds. So have you ever collected any artwork? Do you have any original artwork at all? Yes, yes, I do. Um, from artists that I've met, I haven't actually bought it, but... Uh, well, you've collected it, you acquired it, struck some sort of an arrangement, as it were. Yes, yes, definitely. And do you look at that art, and do you think that that puts you in a better perspective to go about your daily business, as it were? Yeah, 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 I guess so. Awesome. Thank you so much.